Imagine a situation where a large number of adults in your community are dying. Imagine being a child in that environment. A child who has lost one or both of their parents. Imagine having no one to ensure you are properly fed, clothed, cared for, no one to ensure you go to school or teach you new skills. Just imagine the devastating sadness you must feel through this loss and how easy it might be to fall foul of the law or become vulnerable to influences such as alcohol, drugs, or unsafe sex. This is the reality for 1.2 million innocent children currently living in South Africa, orphaned and left vulnerable as a result of the HIV-AIDS pandemic. Yet despite these hardships, many children show great strength, spirit, and optimism. Given the right opportunities, these young people can ensure a bright future for themselves, their families, and South Africa. The Eastern Cape of South Africa is an area of environmental importance with its high biodiversity and wildlife habitat. The Wilderness Foundation has recognized that protecting such areas lies in the hands of future generations. Ecotourism is the third largest industry and growing at a rate of 10% a year, but demands skilled labor. Without this investment in skills training, there will be a long-term impact on the environment. For this reason, the Wilderness Foundation has come together with orphan support organizations and the ecotourism industry to create a groundbreaking initiative which harnesses the opportunities offered by employment within the environment whilst utilizing the healing powers of nature for the benefit of vulnerable youths. One of the unique elements is that we're not just training for the sake of training. We are training for job the placement. Because they are going into e the ecotourism industry, it's important that these young people that are Umzi where to learners understand and enjoy and actually are comfortable in a natural and a nature environment. These songs of freedom. The song that I ever what I found is with the wilderness is it takes you away from everything, everything that's familiar to you. And the really basic things like hearing, sight, feeling, what do you feel like at this point in time, and really coming down to what are you feeling at the moment, what are your emotions. Um, there's no radios, there's no chatter about everyday kind of things, and those memories will be taken with you forever. Umzi Wetu, meaning homestead in Corsa, one of South Africa's native languages, is a year-long intervention which hopes to give some of these youths a chance. It targets those orphans and vulnerable individuals who are most at risk from being lost to society as a result of HIV AIDS and associated problems. Uh, name is Simpua, uh, and this is my brother uh, Sangile. Uh, this is my home. This is the uh, smaller now, but it's the main room. This is my room, a small room. I'm going to, I'm going to fix it. <laughs> this is where the cooking happens. I got to worry when it's raining or bad weather. That's why you have the rocks on top of, on top of the house to keep the things down. When it's raining and then life is tough for me. When there's no food, life is tough for me. Ah, uh, this is Mingisa. When I don't have a candle, when I was studying, he'll buy a candle for me, for me to write. As the youth out there, we are so vulnerable and we are offense and 
for us it's a it's a good thing that to get a second chance that we can explore more about our education and also that we know that there are people who are caring for us. In August 2006, 16 students aged between 18 and 23 were selected from 500 applicants to participate in the first Umziwetu program based in a residential and training centre in Port Elizabeth. All students have demonstrated their commitment to study by passing their matric and are taken into the wilderness as part of the selection process. The program aims to provide a secure, nurturing home base for the students, complete with nutrition, health care and counselling. Hi, uh, I'm Tom Bikumwayo. Uh, I'm a senior house mother taking care of 25 young adults working with these children. It's, uh, there's a lot of um, stress involved because you are a mother to them, you are a teacher, you are everything because some of them have never been involved in a real uh, parent and a homely environment. Umzi Wetu also provides customized accredited skills training and mentoring in aspects of the ecotourism industry, including hands-on experience in the on-site coffee shop and community work, as well as wilderness experiences. And finally, the program secures salaried job placements for the students as junior chefs, food and beverage managers and game rangers. The program has learned me to improve on myself, basically. To learn to cope with different situations and circumstances. Well, every day is a good time. There's always something new happening. Thanks to, to the Umzi Way to program of doing something of I'm seeing myself somewhere in life. I've got nothing, but I do have. I do have hope someday that I'm gonna. I'm gonna drink wine with the president. So this is a program that anyone that's involved in it, whether you a sponsor, whether you a mentor, whether you are um, one of the managers of the program, it impacts deeply on on you. Omzi where to is a two way process. Each young person who graduates from the Umzi Wetu Training Academy takes a huge stride into employment with skills, confidence, opportunity and continued support from our mentors and the academy. Umzi Wetu invites you to support this remarkable program and its rollout, to invest in the future of these young people and the future success of South Africa. I'd like to thank the sponsors, the funders that uh, sponsor this program to make it possible for us as, as young people to go forward in life and we really will not disappoint you and we would like to come back to Umzi also to help other young people and to help them but so that they also can get the opportunity that we've got or maybe, maybe bigger, bigger uh, things in life. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, see you in the future.